I have uh, the computer and all the cameras connected to the same switch. It's a flat network. So here I have all the cameras that the software can find in the network. It does a broadcast, finds the cameras. As you can see, we have different cameras here with weird names, but I also can see that I have SNAB6004. That's a Samsung camera, another Samsung camera. And here we go, based on the IP, we see that this is the real link that I want. 192.168.0.66, okay? And I also have an extra uh, access camera here I can add to this software. So let me try to add this camera by entering the password. Here we go, username and password that I have there in the real link camera. As long as I input the correct password here, only for this camera, hit OK. And says could not contact the device. Okay. And I get this message all the time. It doesn't work. With Axis Camera, if I just select the camera here, our other password is already set. And I can come here and add the device. Quick configuration and retention time, recording, you just install the camera and it's simple like that. Yeah, it's supposed to work with other cameras like that. As, as soon as I find the camera here, I give the username and password, it's supposed to work like that. But for some reason, it's not working. Okay, I'm testing here. So I activate the license later. And here we go, the camera is not here anymore because it's already added to the database. So here are cameras. Now I can see the Axis one, a new camera. Axis again and Samsung. Real link not here yet because I cannot edit from here. Even if I know the password is not working for some reason. OnVif is not good on this camera for some reason, right? So what I have to do here is to check for compatibility. Okay, and then let me just use this software. As you can see, it's Axis Camera Station Device Compatibility. And when I run the test, it says that's not compliant. The camera is not compliant. Let me just show you again how I, I do that. Here, I just open the software and you put the camera IP here, username and password. That's the real link camera, of course. So the device is going to talk to the camera and see if it's compatible. I just hit here, test device and wait for a while. So the software is communicating with the camera to see for compatibility. And here we go. The device is not on with Profile S compliant. Let's talk about Profile S, right? Let me just come here then to the on with web page. And uh, as you can see, uh, the on with.org confirmed product. You can click this link to get to this page. And here you can enter the cameras um, or profiles or product name or manufacturer. In this case, I'm using a real link as the manufacturer, right? And here we see all of the products that are on with compliant from real link, a total of 20 products. And as you can see, they're uh, on with profile T compliant. Here is my camera the Air RLC 500TWA, it's Profile T compliant, not Profile S. There's only one camera that's compatible with the Profile S, all right? It's not mine, it's not my camera. And all of the, the other cameras are Profile T, okay? So that's the reason it doesn't work because Access Camera Station needs to use Profile S not Profile T, okay? As you can see here on the OnVIF documentation, a Profile T is designed for IP-based video system, but works uh, with H.264, H.65, okay? But there's a note that Profile T is not intended as a replacement for Profile S. So both Profile S and T specification have their own application areas and can be combined. In this case, uh, Real Link could combine those, could have S and T in the same camera, but they don't. So that's the reason it doesn't work here with uh, 
Camry Station. So we have to find another way to make it work, all right? So we can also use another software here. Let me just bring it, which is OnVIF Device Manager. Okay, it's a free software. Let me just run it. And then as you can see, it broadcasts the network and looks for camera based on the OnVIF profile. And here, uh, let me just look for the real link camera. Here we go. Here's the IP. And I have video from the camera. Okay. Just wait for a while. Here we go. It loads. I, I saw here first, and then I see here it loads, right? And remember that you need to uh, insert here the username and the password. I already have here the username and password that uh, to connect to the camera, to real link camera, okay? And here I have live video now using OnVIF. Uh, and as I also can see some information here, identification, camera's model, OnVIF version 2.10, but it's not only about OnVIF version, okay? You also need to make sure the profiles are good. And that's the problem here, okay? It's not using the profile S, only using profile T. I have live video, but it doesn't work with camera station. So what I can do here is to use RTSP. As you can see here, I have the RTSP URL that I can use there. Basically, I can copy it and go to camera station. And instead of using the regular OnVIF profile, I can use RTSP. So I enter here, I stream URL, and then I paste it here. And here we go. And now I need to enter the password. Also the username. Let's see if it works. Verifying device credentials. And looks like it's working. Here we go. You, hit, you see the image from the camera. So basically it's working. And then let's come here to add. Quick configuration, rotation time, install, and just wait. The same process we did with the access camera, okay? License later, just a test, and it's not here anymore, which means it came here to cameras. And here we go. We have the real link camera here. Now we have four cameras, two access, one Samsung, and one real link, okay? Two of them using the direct integration, and here with OnVIF for Samsung TechWin, and here using RTSP, okay? Different ways to add the camera. And now I can come here to view, and let's see the camera is here. Just drag and drop, and here we go. Have uh, the, uh, the camera here working with RTSP. As you can see, it's here, RTSP, camera's IP, port 554, so it's basically working. All right. Okay, guys, as you can see, there's a way to integrate the camera using RTSP because OnVIF is not working. So basically we have direct integration like Axis camera, or you can have OnVIF integration like I did with Samsung TechWin cameras or RTSP, okay? But remember, when you don't use direct integration, you don't have uh, such a stable connection with the camera. Sometimes you can have problems with the RTSP protocol not working well, and also OnVIF sometimes gives a little bit of a problem, right? So direct integration is the best way to go, but if you need to use other methods, you can use OnVIF and RTSP.